Okay, um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I'm Rommel Benny from uh, Excellence Energy Solutions. So uh, we are based in uh, UQ Enterprise. Okay, uh, the, uh, the problem and opportunity that we are uh, working on is the high cost of electricity in Asia. So um, we uh, here in the Philippines uh, currently, uh, based from the recent figures that uh, we got, we are uh, in the top three and uh, one of the highest in the world. So uh, we need to be very efficient. So uh, our value proposition is basically we provide energy efficiency solutions to uh, energy intensive industries. And uh, it also includes uh, commercial establishments. And uh, we sustain them by an effective energy management system. Because uh, normally the problem is uh, once we uh, employ a technical solution, there's a question of sustainability. So uh, we uh, put in a, an energy management framework. And uh, that separates us from, uh, from the other provider. So uh, we have uh, basically uh, uh, this as uh, our underlying magic. We, uh, we do energy auditing and uh, we do implementation of energy management system. And uh, we have uh, various energy efficiency solutions. We would like to highlight on uh, high efficiency motors and uh, compressed air leak management system. So basically, uh, these two solutions help industries save energy. We help them save, on, save money by reducing their energy consumption. High efficiency motor is, is a joint project with uh, IIEE. And uh, we are uh, currently uh, promoting this to, to the industries. And also, compressed air leak management is uh, practically a new uh, solution here in the Philippines, but it is a proven technology in Europe. So uh, for our business model, we are targeting the various energy intensive industries uh, like cement plants, water, water utilities, chemical companies, pulp and paper, steel plant, uh, food and beverage, and also semiconductors, which are all energy intensive. So uh, basically what we do is we help them save on energy. And uh, our model is based on shared savings. It's either we invest, so that's why we'll be needing some funding, or we guarantee the savings. And it is still a shared savings model, but the client invests. And the contract is from four to five years. So it's a recurring cash flow. So uh, our go-to-market plan uh, is we will utilize our uh, excellence uh, our sister company, an affiliate company of Excellence Energy, Excellence Consulting Inc., uh, to do the consultative selling. And we have also for forged alliances with IIEE and uh, Department of Energy and UNIDO. So for uh, scanning the, the competitive market, we have here some local ESCO provider as uh, potential competitors and other uh, multinational companies like Snyder Electric and Coffee uh, but, uh, but our uh, main uh, differentiation point is that we combine energy management system with technical solutions for us to sustain all the energy efficiency improvements. Here we have uh, prepared our uh, financial projection. So uh, we are uh, being conservative here. Based from uh, our initial uh, target setting, we are looking at uh, getting three clients in 2017, then increase that to uh, four and five on the third year. So basically, uh, we can see here that uh, the company is very, will be very liquid because of the model that uh, we are using. Okay. So that's all, thank you. So uh, I'm now open for further questions. So for the investors who are seated at the desks, you can just press the mic. Uh, can you disclose who uh, your current clients are? Yeah, we have uh, business relationships now with Nestle Philippines. And uh, Manilad Water Services is also a client. And uh, just recently, uh, we have assisted as well Semex Philippines. There are two plants in 
Rizal, and another one in Cebu, and uh, some uh, other uh, companies in the manufacturing sector. Thank you. What about uh, office management solutions, like my, uh, tracking temperature and energy usage in offices? Is that a service that you're providing also? Yeah, it's uh, included in the, in the products and services that we are offering. So uh, we, uh, we have tied up with uh, one service provider, and uh, it's uh, all included in the solutions that we'll be providing. Because for us to be an effective ESCO, we need to have this uh, measurement and verification instruments. And we will be aligning uh, all the activities that we'll be doing under the framework of an, an energy management system, uh, wherein we will use that kind of solution or software. Thank you. Uh, what, what prevents you, what would it take to, rather than have six clients in 2019, to have 60 clients? What would be the bottleneck for growth for you? Okay. Uh, we are uh, being uh, conservative here because uh, currently, uh, as we assess our uh, capability now, uh, we, we are capable to, uh, to cater to, to this number of clients first because we want to, uh, to do the implementation first correctly. But uh, in 2018 or 2016, this can be uh, higher. But we, uh, for, uh, for our own projection, we tend to be conservative because I uh, just want to show you that with the conservative assumptions, we are already earning. Thank you. So what are your cost factors? Is that just salaries or uh, do, do you do R&D in systems? Do you have actually devices or what's, your, what's on your cost side? Okay. Uh, the first cost is uh, for the purchase of uh, high efficiency motors. Uh, currently, we are now uh, uh, negotiating or uh, we are now uh, trying to uh, penetrate one client. It's a cement company, as uh, originally mentioned. So we'll be needing the capital to, to purchase the, uh, the motors because the client is keen on pursuing a, uh, a shared savings model uh, without any investment on their part. Okay, uh, the second uh, a cost is for the, the salaries of the technicians. And uh, also we'll be needing uh, instruments and meters for our measurement and verification. So basically that's the bulk of the costs. Uh, another cost is for the, the tools or instruments that we'll be using. For compressed air leak management system, we'll be needing a, uh, an ultrasonic detector. Thank you. So, so how much investment are you looking for? Uh, we are looking at uh, around 3 million for uh, the high efficiency motors and 0.5 million for compressed air leak management. Uh, pesos. Yes. Pesos. How scalable is your company? How scalable is your company? Uh, we think that uh, we, are, uh, we are very much scalable. Um, because uh, we, have, uh, we have a proven system and uh, we are uh, using an, an effective management system. So we believe that we are scalable. And also, we have uh, energy management consultants in my team, so we can easily deploy people around. I just understand. So you're looking for around so 5 million pesos, and you expect it to earn. So you think essentially the payback on investment could be less than a year? Yes. Uh, what, if, from an investor's perspective, if they invest, what is the exit strategy? So are you uh, planning to go IPO? Or do you think your company uh, will be attractive for another company to purchase you? Yeah, uh, IPO is the, the end state that we are looking at. But uh, currently, we want to be good at uh, what we're doing. And we want to integrate as much as uh, uh, so, so many number of uh, clean techs uh, provider because uh, that's, uh, that's also embedded in our business model. The reason why we are linking with UP Enterprise Solution is for, for us to scout uh, several products that we can deploy in our clients. So uh, the end state is IPO.
So what's the core asset that you have that makes an IPO sexy? Uh, we have uh, good and experienced people. Uh, Excellence Consulting uh, started as an advocacy on our part. We came from a uh, Swiss multinational company, and what we want to do is uh, to uh, help local companies uh, accelerate towards business excellence. So we have good people in our team, and uh, I think that's, that's the key. Uh, not just good people, but experienced industry practitioner. Thank you.